What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the Rome Open for the WTA and the ATP this week. We've gone through the WTA draw for 2021, and we've got some big names playing, but some players are pulled out. Let's go look at the withdrawals. So having a look at the withdrawal list, we have Azarenka. She's pulled out. Burtons, Jabor, Kontaveit, Kuznetsova, Rybakina, Vekic, and Yastremska has also pulled out for the 2021 Rome Open. All right, taking a look at the top of the draw now, and we have 16 seeds in this one, and the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Ash Barty. The number one seed, she has been great on the clay so far. In 2021, she gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Trevison versus Svidova, who are playing in the first round. Then we have the two wild cards playing, Garcia versus Chocoretto. The winner of that plays either Kudamatova or the number 14 seed, Mertens. And that is a huge first round match. Kudamatova in great form and Mertens beating Simona Halep last week in Madrid. Then we have another massive first round matchup between the number nine seed, Pliskova, and wild card Venus Williams. Definitely keep an eye on that match. The winner of that will play the winner between Put and Seva and Coco Goff in the second round. Then we have Tormo versus Georgie. Winner of that's going to take on number seven seed Sabalenka. So you can see there in the quarterfinals, potentially, we might have a replay of the Madrid final that is happening in a few hours. So this is going to be very exciting. We might get Barty versus Sabalenka yet again on the clay. So you got to watch out for both of them, Barty and Sabalenka. But also keep an eye on Kudamatova and Mertens because both of them have showed some form on the clay in 2021 as well. Going to the second quarter of the draw now, we have the number four seed, Ken. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Zheng versus Krajikova in the second round. Then we have Makova versus Keys. Winner of that's going to take on the winner of Risk and the 15th seed and French Open 2020 champion, Igis Fiontech. Then we have the number 12 seed, Muguruza versus Pavlachenkova, who made the semifinals of Madrid last week. Winner of that match is going to play either a qualifier or Sakari in the second round. Then we have Wong versus Anisimova. Winner of that takes on number five seed, Svetolina in the second round. And I'm going to be honest, this is probably the most open part of the draw. There's a couple of players that are in great form that aren't necessarily the big seeds. I'm interested to see, though, how Kennan does this week after splitting with her coach, aka her dad, this week. And also Svetolina, can she come back from a terrible performance last week? But also Sviontek. This is going to be her last chance to get some real form going into her title defense at the French Open in two weeks' time. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number six seed, Andrescu, getting a bye in the first round. First time we're going to see her on the clay in over two years. She awaits the winner of Sevastova versus Teichman, who are playing in the first round. Then we got two qualifiers playing each other. Winner of that battle will take on the winner of Lynette versus the number 11 seed, Kvitova, who's been in a little bit of form as well this week. Then we have the number 16 seed, Conta, taking on Ostapenko. Winner of that's going to take on either a qualifier or former French Open finalist, Vondrasova, in the second round. Then we have Kerber taking on a qualifier. Winner of that's going to take on number three seed, Simona Halep. So some big names in this one. Like I said at the start, this is a massive preview into what we're going to see probably at the French Open. You've got Halep, you've got Andrescu, definitely keeping an eye on them this week. But also Kvitova. She lost to Barty in three tight sets last week in Madrid, but she has shown some real good form this year and also made the semi-finals of the French Open in 2020, so she is definitely good on the clay. Bottom section of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed, Serena Williams. She's back. We haven't seen her for a while. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of a qualifier versus Podoroska in the second round. Then we have Marcic versus Rogers. Winner of that's going to take on a qualifier or Bencic in the second round. Then we've got the number 13 seed, Brady taking on Zhang. Winner of that's going to take on either a qualifier or Alexandro in the second round. Then we have another really good matchup in the first round between Kazakina and Pagula, both having really good starts to 2021. Winner of that gets to take on number two seed, Naomi Osaka, who, to be honest, didn't play great last week in Madrid. It seems like the clay is really not her surface. But the names to watch out for, obviously, we're going to watch out for Osaka. And Serena, how's she going to look on the clay for the first time in 2021? But also keep an eye on Pagula, because she has had some great form in 2021, not only on hard courts, but also not too bad on the clay courts as well. So keep an eye on that, especially if if she takes on Osaka in the second round. So there it is, the Rome Open for the WTA for 2021. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this tournament? It's very wide open. It's a very interesting preview into what we're probably going to see at the French Open. All the big names are playing. There's no top 10 players that aren't playing except for Burton. So it's a huge stack lineup. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? So for a lot of these players, this is the last time they're going to get a chance to get a warm up and get some good form going into the second major of the year. And I'm going to go with Simona Halep to win this one. She is the defending champion of this tournament. She won it last year. I think Halep's got a really good draw, so I think she's going to win it. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this week. The 2021 Rome Open is out, and it is a massive preview into what we might see at the French Open in a couple of weeks.